Hello everyone, this will be a quick and dirty unboxing review of the Jazz Inc. Millennium Falcon Cargo Hold Diorama. This is my first video review, so bear with the change in camera angles and lighting. But to the unboxing. Packaged with a beautiful color photo of the product, figures not included of course. Inside is a nice foam container with compartments for each of the components. First, we have the photo backdrops to extend the look of the diorama, followed by the floor with two sizes, one to fit an IKEA Besta cabinet, the other extends the depth to fit the Stuva cabinet. The sidewall is very detailed and has a nice weight to it. Next we have the Degeric table. It looks very nice and detailed. I'll compare it to the Sideshow table from a few years ago. They both look great. The Sideshow one is much heavier and seems to have deeper color, but unless you have both side by side, the Jazz one is very nice to this diorama. Then we have the bunk frame for above the bench, a nice piece to add additional height and depth to the diorama. The bench is amazingly detailed and well painted. The large corner piece will fit flush with the Besta cabinet. The add-on lower seat will fill out the depth of the diorama. So a quick setup on the shipping box looks amazing. I must say this is so detailed it will be the highlight of many collections. I plan to get some Stuva cabinets as soon as I can. I'll be painting them to match the Besta I have in the black-brown color, as the Stuvas only come in white. So seriously, if you're ever thinking about any of the Jazz Ink dioramas, jump on them. All of them I have are wonderful additions to my display. On the back is the battery compartment. It requires two AA batteries for the lights on the back of the bench seat. And I'll do a full display video with all of my hot toys and sideshow figures soon.